Are you ready to elevate your WordPress site with captivating image galleries? In this tutorial, we'll cover two methods, the block editor for simplicity or the Envira gallery plugin for advanced customization. Let's start off with the block editor. We're going to create a new page and press on the plus icon. Now you can search gallery, but for me, I see it right here. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, we have two different options. The first is to upload something from our computer, or we could use the media library. This is all of the content we already have uploaded to our website. I'm just going to drag photos right here. And there we go. Now, if you select one of the photos, you have a couple of different options, like changing the alignment. You could also come in here and apply a duotone filter. We could add a link, crop it, add a caption, replace it, and so on. But if we press this right here, this will select the parent block, which is the gallery. These settings are specific to the gallery as a whole. So for example, if we want, we could change it to be wide width or any of the options from in here. We could even say, hey, let's align it to the center. We could add a gallery caption and add more photos. And then of course, over here, there are some more basic settings. Once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and publish it and you're all set and ready to go. Check out our post, how to use the WordPress gallery block to learn more. Now it's worth noting that it does have some drawbacks. For example, you can't use it to showcase your product photos, nor can it be customized deeply. Using a plugin can streamline this process. We recommend Enviro Gallery, a versatile tool for managing videos and photos. With its drag and drop interface, WooCommerce integration, social media compatibility, and various templates, it offers deep linking, watermarks, and right-click protection. If you want a reliable plugin for your galleries, this is your top choice. You can check out the description for a link to the plugin. Purchasing through our link supports our ad-free videos. Now let's go ahead and get it installed. From your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and let's type in Enviro Gallery, if I could spell it right. And here it is. Let's click install and activate. Now, if we look on the left-hand side, we're going to see the Enviro Gallery menu item. Let's go ahead and click on it. And now let's select add new next to galleries. From here, it's pretty straightforward. We can go ahead and add a title. And just like before, we can select files from our computer or select them from other sources. There's also external gallery, which allows you to use Instagram, but this is only available in the pro option. Since I already uploaded these golf photos, I'll just select them and insert them into the gallery. Now it's pretty straightforward. From here, we could simply publish it and call it a day. But as you can see, we have a slew of options on the left-hand side. Enviro Pro, of course, has way more to offer, but we're just gonna go through the free settings really quick. I'm not gonna read every option, of course, but as you can see under config, we can change a lot, like lazy loading, the number of columns, if we wanna crop images, what size we would like, and so on. Lightbox is really nice, something that we did not have with the WordPress block, and this allows it so when you press on an image, it will actually make it full screen. Mobile is only available for the pro version, same with videos and social and tags, animations, yeah, you get it. <laughs> the only other option we have here is under miscellaneous and that's just some basic settings for the title and slug and so on. And that's really just about it. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and publish this gallery. Now you can see right here on the right-hand side, we have some different short codes. You can refer to it either by its ID or its slug. You can also place this gallery into your template files by using the provided code, which is pretty nice. I'll go ahead and select this short code right here, create a new page, select the short code block, paste it in and publish. This right here is with the auto settings. So of course I could come in here and tell it that I only want two columns or I want four columns. I didn't actually adjust any of the settings. So this is just how it looks, but feel free to dive in there and make it look absolutely stunning. And of course we can press on these and have the light box. We could actually use the little arrows here to go in between the different photos. And of course, you'd want to actually assign names and descriptions and stuff to each of the images. I did not do that. <laughs> but that right there took no time at all and is significantly better than the gallery block. Now, imagine if you upgraded to the pro version, there are actually endless opportunities. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Don't forget to use the link in the description to purchase the Enviro Gallery plugin. Your support helps us create more ad-free videos like this one. Happy gallery building, and we'll see you in the next video.